Hey guys, um, so I had a customer today call, his bike is running um, Joshua Good, actually this is for you. Um, this is something we do for our customers if you guys um, have questions or whatnot. So um, he can't get his bike to cool down and he's running a, I think a 138 main jet on a Polini 24 on a Corsa, which if you're running a good carb, I can tell you that's way too big on a 24 on a Polini. If you're running an OKO, it's really anyone's guess um, as to what size you're gonna be running because one OKO can be one size and another one can be another because one child labor made one in one factory and one child labor made one in another. So, sorry for sensitive people. Um, OKOs are China. Well, a lot of them are China and some are Taiwan, but anyways. Um, so I'm just gonna explain, and I, I've had made videos on these. These rings come off always. You always take these rings off, okay? So I'm not going to on this one because I've had a long day and I don't wanna take it off. So I'm just gonna show you, this is gonna be the same scenario with a COSO or a Trail Tech. So this is your tempering. Um, this is aluminum, the Trail Tech is copper. Uh, Trail Tech, in my opinion, is a little bit uh, better designed. So something to keep in mind, when you're putting this on, you need to keep in mind the orientation of where this is gonna fit. So a lot of times you have to grind a fin out. That's a Minarelli head. Uh, actually, I think it's a stock Minarelli head. That's a pre-bug head. There's a little bit more room on those. You can bend this up a little bit, but what you gotta remember, you bend it up too high, you can't fit your socket in there. You don't wanna work this too much because that the more you bend um, metal, aluminum especially, it's gonna get weaker and weaker. So this one, as you can see, um, there was a leak on this one. This one, no leak. See, it's just shiny here because it, there's no oil there. Here, there was a leak. So what that tells you is you, you've got air coming in here and you've got gas coming out. That's gonna make you run hot. So if you take this, you run it in here, you tighten it down, everything's great. The bike runs good, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> I had a pre-bug come back to me once where it ran great and somebody um, over tightened the spark plug. Somebody over tightened the spark plug and what happened, since the spark plug is a little, little bit narrower than the ring, it got tightened down so hard that what it did, it's kind of hard to see on this one, but it actually took this ring and squished it down so thin, it flattened it out and it tapered it. And so what, what it did is it tapered it in, it squished it and it pancaked it, and then it never sealed. So everything looked good, the spark plug was on, um, bike ran great when it was cold, the hotter it got, the worse it got, and the temperature went, I used to run that bike 330 degrees, um, and then one ride within five miles, it got to like 410, because that ring, it was just tightened down too much, it just crushed the ring, and just basically when, when this gets pressed down so hard, it squishes flat and it widens out. And when it widens out, it doesn't seal right. So as you can see, that was probably the scenario with this one. You can see that if you have fuel coming out, um, if you have fuel on the outside of where it's supposed to be, obviously that means an air leak. Um, another thing, so when you're doing this, don't over tighten. You over tighten, you're gonna damage this ring. If you wanna know if this ring is, a, is your problem, just take it off, look at it. If you've got oil or gas on the outside, um, that's a problem. So another thing, since, since I'm here, um, this is a base gasket. If you take your cylinder off, you take your cylinder off your bike. And if you have fuel anywhere on top of this gasket or oil, you had a base gasket leak on either side. This seal here is obviously not supposed to let any, any oil or fuel out and it's not supposed to let any air in or out. So this is on the base. So you've got your cases and then your cylinder sits here on the top. So when you pull your bike apart and you look, if you're wondering what, what the deal was, why it ran hot, why it blew up, if you have any oil or any water residue on top of this gasket and it's not dry, that tells you you had a base gasket leak and that's probably the reason why you blew up. So one thing when I tell people is when your bike blows up, it doesn't really do you any good just to put it back together. You have to find out why it blew up, fix that problem, and then put it back together. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with the same problem we started with, so. Um, also, these gaskets here, um, I like to put just a tiny bit of either oil, two-stroke oil, or Honda Bond, just a little bit to keep it in place. A lot of times, if you put the gasket in, you flip it upside down and go down with the cylinder. You don't know it, but this could come out, and you pinch it, and then you pinch it, you flatten it, you ruin the gasket, and you've got an air leak. So this one was in place, but it looked like it got really um, hot. So um, just a few tips on if your bike's running hot, you can't get it to cool down. If you're running good carb and you know where you should be, um, check your ring first off. 
This has to be cut. This has to be cut off. It can't be on there. This ring, take it off and take a look and see the condition of it. If you've got gas like this, then that, that was part of your problem. If you're clean like this, typically that's not a problem. So um, hopefully that helps some of you guys with doing these rings. It's really simple, but if you mess up, um, if you mess up and you miss a step or you over tighten it, then you're kind of up creek. So um, you guys got any questions, let me know. Again, this channel is for you guys. Um, just trying to help help guys out with uh, troubleshooting and whatnot. So if any questions, let me know. Thanks.